is Michelle Campbell, and I've been coming to Encounter really since it started. Uh, my old Villa Road became Encounter. Uh, my name is PJ. I've been going to Encounter since I started meeting at the Bloxhatchee Civic Center. Uh, I started going to Momentum the first week it met. Um, I'm Kathy Large, and this is my husband, Carl. 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 And we've been coming to Encounter since uh, September of last year. I think kind of what God has done this last year, um, our, he's kind of just rebuilding, doing some rebuilding in our family. Um, we had some past experiences, both, of, both me and Craig at churches. Um, one that just became, it was two guys that uh, worked for us that became um, very hurtful and uh, almost tragic. One evil man involved and two men that were in the body of Christ and so it was a, a very hurtful time and a very I was telling either one of you that called on the phone you know, those commercials were Volkswagen when you see the guy getting blindsided and you never see it coming it's kind of where we were when we started really feel at home there we feel unjudged and just feel like it's where we belong is and we've met some great people and really have experienced a lot I guess really you know just finding that it's more than about yourself you know it's the sense of community and you know getting to know other people and experiencing what they're going through and sharing um, I would just say a sense of belonging Counter Momentum have done a lot of my life. I've met a lot of great people who have been great influences in my life, like idol type people that I can look up to and adore, I guess. God is helping us to have faith in Him and others again. I hate to say that you, you lose faith, but things like that take a lot out of you. I've met like if I have any questions, I can go to these people and just, they'll help me through my spiritual battles and just like, help me, I guess. How about you, dear? Oh, I, you know, of course I would absolutely say the same thing. I mean, we're, you know, all those things are true. We, we feel very fortunate, very blessed to have found an encounter because that's, that's what's so neat about it, you know, you're not judged, you feel like you're accepted, but, you know, God has, has worked tremendously in, in my life, you know, through, you know, and, and through Encounter, and, 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 and not only Encounter, but other things, but, but Encounter's what, what started it. I think also, you know, I found a place to serve. I used to work at uh, Liquid Lounge, and I loved that, but I didn't feel like I was uh, doing what I needed to be doing, or I did for a while, and I enjoyed it, and I still help out, but I'm in kids' church. I used to teach preschool, and I really enjoy the kids. Um, I didn't grow up in a Christian home, so I was one of those backyard Bible club kids that, you know, my parents sent us to church, but... Um, mom is a Christian, but we're teaching them about the Ten Commandments, and I was thinking about, you know, our next lesson is setting aside a day for the Lord and keeping the Sabbath, and when you go to encounter, I know there are a lot of things during the week that are discouraging to us. Life is just packed busy. I think that's part of the devil's plan sometimes, because by Sunday we're wiped out, and that should be the first day. The refreshing day of the month and it seems to be the last and retire. Encounter is a place for me to get away to. Like my grandparents don't like me going there, but I like it. It's my kind of church. I'll, it's a place I like going to. I haven't been you know for a long time we didn't go to church and, and you know didn't I wasn't following Christ like I should and I and I of course it's it's still we're still working on it. you know it's still we're going every day you know trying to you know to to, to but but God has 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 done a lot in a, in, in in a lot of different areas in my life that's 
it's really made a big difference. The music is, um, it's different than anywhere we've ever been. And I think that's a big reason why Craig really, really likes it. Um, we're not real choir people. <laughs> and that's okay. I like choir music, but um, we really like the music. And I think you're usually, you're always glad that you came. And um, it's just like after you work out, you're after, <laughs> you're usually glad that you did it. It kind of is a place I like going to. Uh, I like the music, Brian, obviously. Uh, everybody there is, I think they're authentic religious people. Not necessarily religious, but they have a real connection with God. And I like that in a church. And the same thing with the youth group. The youth group has been great to me. Um, my previous church, I think I went there more for fun than an actual relationship with God. And in this, I find both a fun and a relationship with Christ. Um, this is just, this is the place for me, I think. You know, it was so weird just, like I said, we, you know, I grew up in church, but, but didn't go to church for a long time. And, and, and you know, was crying in church, you know. The, 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 I mean, you just, you know, and I don't, I, you know, I mean, I, I, I tear up every Sunday nearly. It just, it just, you know that God's there. You know that, 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 uh, that he's blessing the church. It's just amazing. There seems to be something, it, it seems like it touches us every week. You know, you find out that, you know, struggles that you're going through, other people are going through, and things that Brian touches on. Like he said, it's it's not, you know, unusual for he and I both, you know, to tear up almost every Sunday, because he hits on everything. He hits on everything that touches everybody. And uh, it just seems to affect us every week. It seems like. I was having a lot of battles, before I got baptized, I was having a lot of battles spiritually and amongst relatives, I guess. Um, and like, the moment I got baptized, they all just left me alone, because I think they realized, you know, he's, he's for real in this church, and he likes it. And they realized, as long as he's connecting with God, it doesn't matter where he is. And I, real, I, I realized this too, like, weeks before I got baptized, that no matter where I am, like church or not, as long as that relationship with Christ is okay. You know, when I was a kid, you know, I didn't, you know, I, I, I you, know, you almost didn't, I almost couldn't wait to the point where I was old enough where I didn't have to go to church, you know, like my parents couldn't make me go to church or whatever. I hate, I hate to miss church. I want, man, I, it's just like this, this weekend, you know, we're going to be all gone, you know, and I, I hate to not be there because it's, that's how important it is because and you know, and I think the same way. I mean, we just, we just absolutely just couldn't be happy. And I think for the future of Encounter, I would like to see um, we've grown, and uh, I'd like to see. I have I've met a lot of new people, but I don't feel like I've um, gone deep into relationship with them. So I would hope that my current relationships would deepen and that um, we would just see people. I, I would hope that it would be a place that would be known um, for people loving God and for people uh, that love each other. We've seen a lot of the, the other at, and you know, none of us are perfect, but um, I really want us to all get to a place where we know each other with all of our warts and, and love each other love God. I think we've all been to a place like that and then you think, gosh, that church was so, you know, whether you had to move or something like that. Um, that's what I hope for it to be.